very excited, right? Yes! Okay, great. Now, uh, I'm sure the reason why we are here is because uh, you want to learn how to be successful in your every business. Am I right? Yes! Okay, great. Um, how many of you have attended yesterday's rally? Oh, 100%. Great. So you, you like the, uh, the, what you call the meeting yesterday? Yes! Okay, good. You, have you learned something? Yes! Okay, fantastic. Now, how many of you uh, haven't really started yet? How many of you? No, 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 it's okay. Just put up your hand. Haven't really started yet. That means uh, no sales, no sponsoring yet. Okay? Don't, don't be shy. Just put up your hand. Okay, so that means you're still very, very new in the business. Alright, give our new people the warm welcome. You have already started selling and sponsoring. Oh, more than half. Congratulations. Okay, good. Now, for those of you who are new in the Apple business, who haven't started yet, okay, zero sales, zero sponsoring, uh, I would like to give you some advice first, okay? Now, before you get started, I want you to ask yourself a couple, a couple of questions first. So in other words, don't start before you answer the following questions. I think this is very, very important. And for those of you who have already started sponsoring people, you have already got new downline new IPO, please advise your new downline, advise those people who just signed up to answer these few questions first before to get them to get started. You see my point? Yes. Now it's very, very important. You see, there are many people sign up every day whether it's in Philippines, or in China, or in Thailand, or in New Zealand, or Australia, or in the United States, every day a lot of people sign up in that way. But unfortunately, not too many of them are successful in the business. There must be reason. This is such a fantastic business. You know it's a fantastic business. It's a great business. And a lot of, and, and a lot of people are you know, coming in every day, but how come you know, more people feel in the business that succeeded. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Is it really that difficult to do the business? No. Is, huh? No? You, you mean to be successful is easy? <laughs> I, I shouldn't say it's easy or difficult, but I think it's important that first to answer the questions that I'm going to ask you. Alright? The first question for those who are new in the Apple business, or for those who want to sponsor new people, make sure that you ask your downline, the new downline. This first question is, do you believe in the products? I think this is a very, very important question. If your answer is no, don't do the business. You are not going to make it in the Apple business. So a lot of people sign up, got excited, and they started getting customers, started to uh, prospecting as well. And they fail. You know why? Because they have no belief in the Apple business. I can't make you believe in the Apple business. You've got to believe it in yourself because belief got to develop from within. So that was my first training when I got it, uh, when I met my uh, applied to Jerry and Ezra in Silver. Jerry said to me, Fool, you are going to build a business of yourself. You're going to build a company. You need customer. And you are your first customer. You are your most important customer. So if you cannot, you yourself, you cannot have the belief in the products. Your first customer doesn't have the belief in the products. How are you going to get a second customer? How are you going to get a third customer, a fourth customer, a fifth customer?
customer? Do you think this is a good question? Yes. All right. So I will advise you for those who are new, please go back and then uh, you know get some products and then uh, you know get some information and uh, probably uh, learn it from your apply and also buy some X brand and start to make some comparison, compare the qualities, compare the performance, and also compare about the price. Because a lot of people say, well, I know handmade products are good. We produce some of the best products in the world, but expensive. So in other words, you're not convinced yet. To you, products are good, but expensive. I tell you, if the products are expensive, then nobody buy from you. It's very difficult to convince people because products are expensive. But anyway, I think it's important that when you make, you when we want to make this kind of comparison, you must compare with the what you call the same category products. You you, you cannot compare with the products that is on a different uh, I mean uh, different category. Just like I come to Manila, I stay in the uh, Shangri La Hotel. It's very expensive because every night I pay probably about thirteen thousand peso one night. Is that expensive? Yeah. It's expensive, but still, business very good. So why people, why customers are willing to pay that kind of money to stay in a hotel one night, 13,000. I stay here for four or five nights. You work it out for me, how much I'm going to pay. It's expensive, but why still got business, got customer? So you cannot compare Shakali Lao with a two-star hotel. You agree with me, right? So if you want to make comparison, you can you compare with let's say intercontinental, you compare with uh, maybe uh, uh, peninsula, you know. So all these are same category. You understand what I'm gonna say? Yes. What I'm saying, right? So products, I think uh, not just about the quality. Not just about the uh, what you call the performance, but the price. Now, not only that, please for those who are new in the MB business, uh, I think for all of us, we really believe in our products. You see, uh, our products are really fantastic. As far as MB is concerned, we focus on high quality products. We focus on satisfied customer because a satisfied customer is the best uh, strategy of all uh, strategy. It's the best is to have satisfied customer and the only way to have satisfied customer is to produce high quality products now can you imagine we sell more than probably 12 billion us dollars a year it's a lot of sales a lot of satisfied customers so you don't have to really doubt about the quality of the products what i think you need to do if you are new in the agri business i think you better spend some time to learn about you know why the products are really that good how to use the product properly how can we help our customer to save products how can we help our customer to use the product properly so that our customer are satisfied with the performance of our products so these are the few things that we need to do when you are new in the every business so i would rather want you to really spend some time to study the products first so that you know you know how our products perform you know how to use the product properly and appropriately so that when we sell the products to our customer, we can teach our customer to use the product properly so that we can make our customer happy. We can help our customer maybe to save time. We can help our customer maybe to save some money. You don't have to really doubt. You know why? Because for example, our uh, skincare, we are the top five brand in the world. There must be some reason why so many people trusted the Mway uh, artistry. Our Nutrilite, we are number one in the world. Yes. And Nutrilite has been in the market for more than 80 years. This is the number one brand in the world. There must be some reason why so many people buy Nutrilite. Now, I don't know whether you agree with me or not. Food supplement. When we eat something, we want to eat the very best. Yes. yes. Right? Yes. So for those of you, I believe that you and your friends and your customers, they, they probably have the same kind of belief that if they want to eat something, if they really need, I do not know whether you need the products or not. I do not know whether your customer need the products or not. But I really don't care much. But what I care is when, if you need the products, you better buy 
the very best Torah. Am I right? Yes. yes. Our eSpring is also the number one brand in the world. There must be some reason why we sell so many eSpring a day everywhere, whether in Taiwan, in Thailand, in Malaysia, in uh, what you call the uh, United States, everywhere in the world, eSpring is number one brand. There must be some reason why so many people buy eSpring. How many of you already got a set of eSpring? Okay, probably about one third. How about the rest of you? Okay, I mean, if you cannot afford, work hard. Because it's very important water you drink every day. Alright, so if you can afford, encourage you to buy the eSpring as soon as possible because that proves that you believe in the product and then you can convince others because you have a set of eSpring okay so this is my number one question ask yourself this question first ask your new download this question first do you believe in the product if the answer is no please don't start the business stop doing the business is that a good question Yes. Second question is You better ask yourself Do you believe in the company? Do you believe in Amway? Because when I first started I wanted to do the Amway business My apply tell me that You know Amway is a long term business Now I'm going to ask this question Because why? If I work hard What happened 5 years later The company cannot afford to pay me the bonus So why should I work hard? So if, if you have that doubt, stop doing the Amway business. Now nobody can convince you that Amway is a solid company. Nobody can convince you that Amway is the best company. You got to convince yourself. Why don't you get some information instead of listening to your upline, instead of listening to your sponsor or, or, or marketer? Why not you listen to yourself? Remember, believe got to develop from within. Is Amway a good company? Is Amway a solid company? I think this is a very important question. Every Amway people need to answer. If the answer is no, don't do the business. Stop doing the business. You can never build this business because you have no faith in the company. Congratulations if the answer is yes. I believe in the company. I believe in Amway. When you have that kind of belief, nothing can stop you from doing the business. Nothing can stop you from sponsoring people. I tell you what, when I first started, I asked myself this question. You know, hey, there are so many other direct selling companies, so many networking companies, so many so-called MLM companies. Why? I must do Amway. Because I still remember you know, I was introduced to Amway in 1978 by uh, my good friend Chan Kun Tin. But I said no to him because uh, maybe I was too young to, to really, uh, what you call, uh, understand this uh, great um, opportunity. So I turned him down. And then uh, six months later, another friend of mine, my colleague, very excited, he drove all the way from Penang. I don't know whether you know Penang or not. Penang is a, another city in the northern part of uh, Malaysia. Yeah. So he drove all the way from Penang to Kuala Lumpur. I, I, I live in Kuala Lumpur. You know, it took him about four hours. Sorry, I think at that time, probably about seven to eight hours. Because uh, 30, 40 years ago, there's no highway. So probably you have to drive very, very slow. It took about eight hours to drive him from Penang to Kuala Lumpur to see me. But he was so excited, he flew. I'm sure you want to be rich, you know, you want to make a lot of money. I'm going to show you a fantastic opportunity. He showed me the plan. I tell him after I saw the plan, I was very excited. For two nights I couldn't sleep because if I really follow the plan, if the plan really work, I tell you, I will become millionaire. That was the reason why I couldn't sleep for two nights. But I was hesitating. I was struggling, should I sign up or not? You know why? Why I didn't sign up? It was because I got to invest 3,000 ringgit. That means it's about 40,000 peso. Now, the plan was fantastic, but that was the requirement. If anybody wants to join that company, you got to invest 40,000 peso. 
And I, luckily, fortunately, I didn't have the money. Okay? If, if, if I got the money, probably I will already sign up. Because the plan was really fantastic and he was so excited. He was my good friend. And he said, Fu, you know, so many people, you see this guy, that guy, you know, uh, professional, doctor, also in, a, in that business, and uh, all of them become rich. Why not? You know, we give it a try. Only 40,000, so what? You know, if you want to do conventional business, probably you need 400,000. This is only 40,000, why don't you sign up? Luckily, I didn't have the money, so I didn't sign up. Do you know that one year later, the company collapsed? I tell you what, the reason why I sign up with Amway is because, you know, I don't have to come up with any amount of money. I just need to buy a starter skin and the price of the starter kit is money back guarantee. If I fail, I can even, you know, return the starter skin and get back the money. That was the reason why I signed up with Amway. But doesn't mean that without much investment and then I sign up, I can become successful. I tell you what, I become successful in the because I believe in the company. You see, Amway is a solid company. It's a, it's a company that, you know, uh, what did you say? Just I talk about, you know, will the company pay me after five years? Do you know that last year, Amway paid out 30, sorry, 3 billion US dollars. Is that a lot of money? Yes. Three billion US dollars. I don't know how much to convert to uh, peso. Uh, well, anyway, if you build a company that sell one billion dollars, it's, it's already very big. And every pay out three billion US dollars. And I tell you what, none of the people in Amway who qualify to receive the bonus fail to receive the bonus. Everyone got the money on time. That's the absolute <laughs> Of course, I can go on and go on, you know, tell you how fantastic the Amway business, but you have to be convinced yourself. Why don't you get more information? Why don't you check on internet or whatever? I don't care how you do it, but please make sure that you are convinced. All right? And remember, I want to stretch it over and over again. Belief got to be developed from within. That you convince yourself, that you tell yourself, that you say, I believe in the company. You know, that kind of belief is really powerful. And when you have that kind of belief, you develop that kind of nothing can stop you. You keep knowing your head, you know? The reason why, because I think you are diamond, right? Okay? I'm sure you really believe in the Apple product and in the product and in and the company. So this is the second question. And remember, for those of you sponsoring new people, ask these two questions first. Alright? Otherwise, I tell you, you can sponsor many down the line, but you probably waste your time. Because these people coming in, they have no faith in the product, they have no belief in the company, and then they started approaching customers, started approaching prospects, and the prospect starts to say no, and then they got disappointed, lose faith in the business, and then you give up the business. You're wasting your time in sponsoring people. You understand me or not? So these are the two very important questions. And you got to go on to ask the third question. Do you believe in the sales and marketing plan? Do you know how the sales and marketing plan work? Do you believe that the plan is fair? I think this is really fantastic plan. But you got to ask yourself, is the plan fair? If the plan is not fair, if the distribution of the money is not fair, if someone get more and another one get less, unfair, I tell you, the company will not last, the business will not last. The plan got to be fair. Don't just be what you call uh, got excited because you know you can see a lot of circles, you can see a lot of money flowing around, and then start to dream that one of these days uh, we sponsor a lot of people, and then uh, down I sponsor a lot of people, and then you have a lot of uh, bonuses coming in. No such thing. If the plan is not fair, I tell you the plan would last. That's why when I first started, I spent a lot of my time analyze the sales and marketing plan, study the sales and marketing plan. So please, what you want? You have you ever really spent time to learn about the plan? 
Have you ever asked yourself this question? How the plan work? I think the plan got to be fair. The best part of the every sales and marketing plan is it is a fair sales and marketing plan. I ask myself this question. I do not be afraid to put in the effort. But what I concern most is if I work hard, how much my apply can be for me? That is a question I ask many, many times. I ask my uh, of course, I don't ask my sponsor, lah. I ask my what you call uh, a mentor, I ask Dr. Jerry, you know. I say, I don't mind putting in effort, I don't mind working hard, but, you know, if I put in time and effort to build the business and all the benefit go to my upline, why should I work? You see, people, I don't know, I think most people are like me, we do not want to be used by other people, am I right? Yes. You do not want to be used by your sponsor. There must be some reason why your sponsor are so enthusiastic and so, uh, what do you call, uh, working so hard to try to, what do you call, uh, persuade you to do that, is there something in it for him? Please. Anything we do, we are going to benefit someone. You agree with me or not? Yes. So, when you work for your company, who's going to benefit from the time and effort you put in? Company. Huh? Your supervisor, your manager, the what you call uh, general manager, the company's director, all of them are going to benefit uh, whatever performance or, or, or effort that you put in to the company. Agree? Yes. But why do you still want to work for your company? Because you get paid. And you better ask yourself this question, is that fair or not? You work 8 hours, you get that much. Your supervisor also work 8 hours and get more. Is that fair? I think this is an important question. So I analyze a lot about the sales and marketing plan. I said, I put in the time and effort, I get so many customers, I sponsor so many people, I got so many sales, I build that kind of volume, how much I get and how much my sponsor get. You better work it out. If you work it out and say, hey, no fair, stop doing the business. Because, you know, you put in all the time and effort getting so much customer and every, and every time you got customer, got sales, got volume and the apply get all the benefit. I tell you this is something a lot of people don't bother to ask. I ask many, many times, is Amway a pyramid scheme? Is money always go to the people before me? Is that money always go to the people on top of me? You better ask this question. Is the bonus only go to your apply to your sponsor? To the to Mark Lai, to Fu Haokian, and you get very little. If it's not fair to you, why do the business? So that was the question I asked many, many. I was not convinced, frankly speaking. That was the reason why for the first two months I got zero sales. I find it so difficult to sponsor people because I was not convinced. It's hard, you know. The sales and marketing plan is very, very hard to understand. Why 3%? Why 6%? Why 9%? Why when you build 1,000 and then you got 20% and you get paid 3%? There must be some reason. I tell you what, if you spend time to really understand, you know, the structure of the sales and marketing plan, to really understand the fairness of the plan, when you are convinced, nothing can stop you already. So that was the reason why, you know, uh, I spent two months to analyze, to study the sales and marketing plan. I really convinced that, hey, this is really a fantastic plan and the plan is fair. And do you know that my sponsor spent a lot of his time to sponsor me into Amway. I work very hard. I build a large organization. I build big business. But my sponsor can very little. In fact, he can nothing. You know why? Because he didn't put in the effort to build the business. Don't you think it's fair? Yes. I was signed up into Amway long before uh, Choyke is Choyke here. The, 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 I mean, the Peter Lee. I sponsored Chan Kun Din. Chan Kun Din sponsor, uh, uh, I've forgotten the name. Probably, uh, and, and, and this uh, Choyke and uh, uh, Peter Lee is down, 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 down my, my organization. It's many, many level, level down. So I, I came into the business much longer than them. But do you know that Peter Lee and Joy Ken qualified come okay. ambassador before me, before Chan Kun Tin. So this is a fair system. In, in other words, you can earn more than your apply. There is no free ride in the Amway business. This is a very 
fantastic sales and marketing plan. The system is really, really bad. And everybody starts equally. Whether you are a professor, whether you are housewife, whether you are simple ordinary taxi driver, everybody starts the same. Whether you got money, no money, everybody is the same. I tell you what, if, if you if you really analyze the, the Mway business, now do you notice that we are not allowed to sell in the shops? Yes. Can you buy Mway products in the shops? No. It's Mway shop, yes. Yes. All right? But not in any of the uh, shops. There must be a reason. I ask the question. You know, I don't know why. I keep asking a lot of questions because why? It's not easy to be convinced. I'm a very stubborn guy. Maybe because of, uh, I don't know, my character. <laughs> not easy, you know. So I ask a lot of questions. Why, why can't Emily allow me to sell me the shop? The reason was very simple. Rich Tiba answered the same question. Uh, answered the question many, many times already. Because Emily want to make it fair to everybody. He said, Emily is a business opportunity for ordinary people. Most of the people may not have a shop, all right? So for people who have got a shop, that is easy for them to, to what you call, uh, sell the products. How am I going to compete with someone who have a shop? You see my point here, no? So I tell you, there are a lot, a lot of uh, small uh, details that you need to really understand. What I'm trying to say is, I cannot help you. You got to convince yourself. You got to ask a lot of, a lot of questions. All right? Maybe you have a lot of question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, and then you got to take out all the question mark until you are totally convinced that yes, this is a fantastic sales and marketing plan. I believe in the plan. Once you have the belief in the sales and marketing plan, once you know that MW is not a pyramid scheme, MW is a parallel because everyone can move up. You see, the MW hierarchy, there's no such thing as the only one can become uh, diamond or double diamond or triple diamond. You can have many, many diamond or triple diamond or crown ambassador. Unlike working for people, unlike conventional business, unlike corporate world, that they can only have one general manager. You cannot have two general managers. That's why I say, I tell you, this is really a fantastic. Don't you think so? Yes. yes. So when we work for other people, we work for a corporation, if you want to be the general manager of the company, sorry, you got to make sure that nobody, no one can be the general manager. But not Amway. Everyone can be crown ambassador. So this is the fourth question you got to ask yourself first. Do you believe in the fairness of the sales and marketing plan? If the answer is yes, go on and ask yourself the fourth question, which is equally important, is do you believe in the future or do you believe in the potential of the business? Do you believe in the market or not? What is the point of doing a business where there is no future? I still remember when I first started. Six months in M. Uh, sorry, four months in M. I qualified twelve percent. After I qualified twelve percent, I decided to quit my job and I handed in my resignation letter to my company. And do you know that my boss asked me this question? Four. Why you want to quit the job? Are you not happy with us? Are you not happy with the company? I said, no, 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 no. This is a great company. I'm happy with the company. I'm happy with the job. But, but, my own reason, I do what you call resign. Why? You want to join competitors? No, 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 no. No, I'm not joining anybody. I, I, I just uh, want to resign. There must be a reason why to resign. Oh, okay. I, I want to do my own business. My boss, he didn't believe in me. Because I was only about 26 or 27 years old. See, how can you start your own business? You know? What kind of business is that? I said, Amway. The moment I mentioned Amway, he looked at me. <laughs> no la, young man. You, you know why you want to join Amway? Such a good job you do not want to what you call a, a kick and yet you want to resign and then join a company. I said, what's wrong? So I um, mean uh, wrong with Amway? He said, no, because too late. I said, what do you mean too late? He said, no, this kind of business, you see, is saturated already. So in other words, 
There's no market. There's no future. You understand or not? Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can ask yourself this question. Alright? Because otherwise, if you don't ask yourself this question, yet you are not convinced. Tomorrow you go out and talk to prospects. And the prospect asks you the same question. Oh, no lah. It's too late to join MOE. So many people are doing their business. Do you think you can convince him? No. You can never convince him. I tell you what, this is a really a very important question where you have to ask yourself and make sure you get it clear and you understand why the market is not saturated, why the market is big, why the potential is big until and unless that you have that kind of belief that the market is wide open, the future is fantastic. Otherwise, it's very difficult for you to convince other people to join in your business. So when my boss, you know, said to me that, fool, don't do MWA because it's saturated, I asked him why. You know what he said? Hey, my niece signed up six months ago, already resigned. You sign up now, too late. Six months ago, my niece already gave up. <laughs> Six months ago, his, uh, his niece already gave up. But every day also got people sign up. Every day also got people give up the MA business. Huh? You see my point or not? Yeah. But anyway, it, it's very difficult you know, for me to tell you why I believe that you know that we have great uh, potential. I can only tell you the numbers, right? The number of people who are doing the MA business actually very, very few. Yes, maybe, I'm not too sure, uh, we don't have any uh, company uh, staff here, right? I don't know how, how many uh, people are in MWA in the uh, Philippines. Do we have about 40,000 people? Yes. Yes, we have 40,000? 40,000? 50,000? Okay, 40, 50,000. Alright, we may have 40, 50,000 MWA distributors or IP. Oh, but that's only numbers. How many of the 40,000, 50,000 are active? <laughs> Very few are active. Because most people only just sign up. Most people don't even bother to buy products. The percentage of activity in Amway is not high because it's too easy to sign up. In fact, you know, during the early year, I, early days, I always talk to, uh, discuss with some uh, so-called uh, senior uh, MWA staff, I said, why don't we put up the price? You know, how much is the sunset cost in uh, Philippines? 1,000 pesos. Huh? How much? 1,000. What? 1,000. 1,000. 1,000 pesos. It's 1,000 pesos. Everybody can come up with 1,000 pesos. That means, every, you know, everybody can sign up business. But if you want to do conventional business, you want to open a McDonald's store, you want to open a Kentucky store? I think any kind of store, any kind of business, any kind of shop, you probably could come up with a lot, a lot of money. So it's not easy to do conventional business. So you, you will not simply give up, right? Yes. Don't come and tell me when you open a coffee shop and then two days later say, no, I don't want to do it really, and I want to go shop. <laughs> no, you won't. Because you invested so much of money. But one thousand only, and you can get it back. One thousand. There's no other requirement that you need to buy so many so many product. No minimum order, and that is the reason why. So, I tell you what. When when someone have, what is the question that we just now? What was the the question? The potential. The potential. The potential. The potential. All right. So, we, we, we really have to analyze, you know, uh, there are a lot of people are in that way. That's a fact, okay? So, once you know, yes, there are a lot of uh, MWA people, but most of them are not active. Maybe one year later, they are going to purge out. They may not be here. So, maybe one year later, we may have extra 10,000, but maybe 5,000 probably will. So I tell you what, this business is just like that. Maybe only about 5,000 people are active in the MBA business. Okay? And the reason why I spend so much time to talk to you this couple of questions because I really want you to understand why people succeed in the MBA business, why people fail in the MBA business. Not because every business is difficult to do, it's because most people, they do not have the belief in the business. 
either lack of belief in the products or lack of belief in the company or lack of belief in the sales and marketing plan or lack of belief in the potential of the Amway business because I have a belief you know when my upline explained to me who only about 30,000 that was uh, many many years ago in Malaysia now I don't know how many Malaysian are in the Amway business I don't know because Malaysia already in the market for the years 35 or 36 years Amway Malaysia Amway Philippines is only about 70 uh, years, right? But do you know that Amway Malaysia is uh, probably, I don't know how many times bigger than Amway Philippines. Much, much bigger than Amway Philippines. If after 35 years and the business still growing in Malaysia, you can imagine what will be the potential for this business in Philippines. As I see. To uh, carry on. Yes. yes. Okay. I, I I I would like to spend a few more minutes, you know, to make sure that you really understand this uh, how to build the Amway business. But first and foremost, answer these few questions first, right? Do you believe in the product? Do you believe in the company? Do you believe in the sales and marketing? Do you believe in the market? The market? The Philippine market? Okay. So for those of you, if the answer is no, you do not believe in Philippine. You do not believe in the potential of the market. You don't think Philippine will grow. You don't think M Philippine can be like Malaysia. As far as I'm concerned, I see no reason why M Philippine cannot be bigger than M Malaysia. We have much more population than Malaysia. The economy in Philippines is growing faster than Malaysia. And we have eight crown investors in Malaysia. I see no reason why we cannot even have a crown investor in Philippines. I don't believe that. I believe in the market of M Philippine. I believe in the potential of this market. And that is the reason why I keep coming to Philippines because I believe in the market and I believe in the future of this market. <laughs> so these are a couple of questions that you need to ask yourself first. And the last question I want you to ask yourself is ask yourself why so many people are so, what you call, enthusiastic about the Amway business? Why so many people, even after trying hard for years, and they never give up the business? There must be some reason. You see, a lot of people who are in Amway, they face just a lot of challenges. They got a lot of no. Business up and down. After five years of hard work, I'm sure there are a lot of you who have been in the business more than three years, four years, five years. You, you may not really make a lot of money yet in Amway, but you hang around. You stick to the business. There must be some reason. Sometimes a lot of people ask me this question. Hey, who? Why are so many people, you know, already in the business for five years, still make not much money, and yet still so enthusiastic about the Amway's business? What wow, so special about the Amway business? What is the catch? What is the magic? I tell you what. Now I want you to really spend some time to uh, you know understand this. And the best thing is, like what I advised you uh, yesterday, that is, listen to Rich Divorce and Jane and Amanda Stage. The few things, try or cry, okay? Must listen. What makes Amway special? Must listen. Four weeks by Rich Divorce. Must, must, uh, what you call, listen, commitment by J. Van Ender. Commitment. This is a great, uh, what you call, uh, a thing by J. Van Ender. Another one is, together we have got it all. These five things or five series, you must ask your upline or whoever or maybe the company staff to provide you. And I want you to listen many, many, many times because by listening to the tapes, listening to the speeches of Rich and G, it will help you to understand their philosophy and their thoughts, which to me is very important. I always believe that, you know, if a company can be that, that successful, if a company can build up to that side, there must be something special 
it's not just about products. It's not just about the sales and marketing. Right? It's not just about the management. You know, who am I? Management manager are really fantastic. No, I tell you, it's the philosophy of the business. It's the value of the business. And if you can understand, you know, what make every special. If you can understand the value of the business, the concept, you will never give up the business easily. No matter what challenges you face, you will stick to this business because why? Because you appreciate the what you call philosophy. You love the philosophy, and you have that firm faith and belief in the philosophy. As far as I'm concerned, when I listen to Richard G's thing, he when he mentioned something like that, Amway is a business. It is a business. A lot of people sign up because of profitability. A lot of people sign up because it can help. You know, us make money and to be rich. Yes, Amway is a business, but it is more than just a business. In fact, Amway is a way of life. I, I love this phrase. It's not just a business. It is a way of life. So in other words, it's not just about profitability. It's not just about money. It's not just about fortune. It's a way of life. It's about security. It's about freedom. You know, it is about lifestyle. So if if you understand that, you know, you love the business. This business is built on helping people. It's a people business. If you want to become successful in M way, you got to lift people up. So it's a way of life. It's not just about business. M way is not just about business. M way is an attitude towards life. It's an attitude. What kind of attitude you would love to have? I tell you, I love the M way business because why? M way helped me to cultivate big positive and. And will help me to cultivate, to be optimistic. There are a lot of challenges in the Amway business. You better train your mind. You better cultivate this kind of uh, thinking that you know you become positive. Otherwise, when you face no's, when you face difficulties, when you uh, your when you have failures in the Amway business, you be discouraged, disappointed, and you give up the Amway business. But if you cultivate yourself this kind of attitude that you are positive. Okay, you are optimistic. You always have dreams. You believe in dreams. You believe in hope. You know, not only you have hope, but you sell hope. Not only you have hope, you offer hope to other people. This is, this is attitude, and that is the reason why you know I love the Amway business because I always love to have hope. Not only I always have hope for myself, for my family, for my future, but I offer hope to my downline. I offer hope to my prospects. Don't you think it's fantastic? Yes. yes. So we have something that we have something that can help us to cultivate this kind of positive thinking. We can, you know, we can have we can have something that we can offer the hope to other people. You know, to what you call help other people to have dreams. It's the same. You know. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So, Amway is not just a business, but is an attitude towards life. Don't you think it's really a fantastic business? Yes. Do you love this kind of philosophy? Yes. Do you like this kind of concept? Yes. Rich and Jay say, you know, Amway is not just about business. Amway business is built. The foundation is built on integrity, honesty. Trust. It's a trustworthy company. It's an honest business. It's a business of integrity. So I always ask myself this question: If I want to associate with a company, I want to associate with a company that you know I can trust. If I want to really do business with a company for life, I better choose a company of integrity. Don't you think it's important? Yes. I mean, you can do other business where. You know, you can build a lot of money, make a lot of money, but what happens if the company is a company without integrity? I'm sure most people will not want to associate with a company that have no integrity, no trust, no honesty. So, these are the three reasons why I I I, I have so much uh, what you call uh, confidence about the Amway business, and that make me feel so excited about the Amway business. Last but not least. Now, before you really get started 
before you really, you know, uh, make your new downline to get started, remember, this business, even though the future is fantastic, even though when you achieve success, you, you may be rewarded um, fantastically, but there are a lot of challenges. Okay, I want you to understand first. I don't want to just encourage you, you know, hey, and we can make a lot of money, you know, can make dreams come true, sign up, la, you know, do the business. La. No, I want to be realistic with you. Okay, I want to be honest with you that it's a business that we have challenges. Okay, so this last thing is do you, are you? Willing to put in effort to do the business? Yes. I think this is a great question. All right. So please, if your new downline cannot ask this question, why you want him to start? Nobody can succeed in any way without putting in effort. You got to give it what it takes to become successful in every business. So I think this is a legitimate question. It's a very good question. If the answer is yes, I'm willing to put in effort. I'm willing to work. Nothing can stop you already because you believe in the products, you believe in the company, you believe in the sales and marketing plan, you believe in the potential of this business, and you are willing to give it what it takes. I tell you, you see, sometimes we, we just want to get people in by painting the big picture. Oh, dream, fantastic future. You can make a lot of money without telling them the facts that you have to work. Right? If the, I, I do not know. You ask yourself this question. Are you willing to work? Yes. So if, if answer is no, 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 no. I, I'm happy with my income. I'm happy with my life. Don't do the business. Same thing is, ask your downline, your new downline the same question. Trust me, most people will probably say, yes, I'm willing to work the business. I'm prepared to put in effort to work this business. And you get a good downline. All right? So this is a fantastic, uh, these are a couple of uh, fantastic questions. And then be prepared. When you become an Amway leader, remember there are challenges, there are problems, okay? There are lots of obstacles in front of you. And that is the reason why you need motivation, okay? You need to be motivated. And you must learn how to motivate. One of the reasons why I'm successful in every business is because I think I know how to motivate people. So if you want to become successful in every business, you better learn how to be motivated, how to motivate other people. There are two ways that you can motivate people. You can be motivated by fear. The second way is you can be motivated by reward, but I believe that these two methods only work temporarily. The only lasting thing is to be self-motivated. So in other words, only people who know how to motivate himself or herself, the motivation can be last forever. So do you know how to motivate yourself? Yes. Now, if you do not know how to motivate yourself, I tell you, don't do the business. Because your downlines are going to face some challenges and problems. And they come to you, upline, please help. And then you cannot motivate him because you do not even know how to motivate yourself. So I think you must learn how to motivate yourself. Now, one of the best ways to motivate ourselves is to have a dream. I think this is the best thing. Okay, so ask yourself why you want to be the Amway. What is your dream? And then you know every day think about the dream. Secondly, is you must learn to talk to yourself. Now, every day I talk to myself. I can do it every day. I condition my my mind that you know I, I can become successful in every business. So every time when you go out and meet a prospect, talk to yourself first. I can do it. All right. Yes. Can you do that? Yes. yes. Please. I can do it. Yes. I can do it. Can everyone see? I can do it.
Now, if every one of you, every time when you go out and meet a prospect, condition your mind first. Because remember, just now I said, you need to motivate yourself first before you can motivate others. So every time, look at the mirror and talk to yourself. I can do it. I can do it. Can we repeat five times? I can do it. in the eyes and your expression is different, you are confident. Can you imagine when you see your prospects and you are down, you are not motivated, you are confident. Do you think you can convince people? No. Do you think you can motivate people? No. That's why this business uh, is simple business. I know there are challenges, I know there are a lot of problems, but you must understand that you need to learn to motivate yourself. Only self-motivation can last forever. And you need to do it every day. So every day, keep telling yourself, I can do it. Morning, five times. Before you sleep, five times. I can do it. 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 Don't you think it's fantastic? Yes. I always say, always say, you know, psychology. Uh, people, like for example, uh, I, I, I will probably have given more than one hour of speech, right? So I know all of you are what you call uh, listen very uh, carefully, uh, taking notes, you know, seriously. I hope you, you, you learn, okay? I, I heard you, you have learned a lot. But uh, I think it's even more important that you can cha cha, right? I think it's even more important that you start to learn how you can motivate yourself. I think it's even but more important that you really start to believe in yourself. Yes. Okay, I think this is more powerful. Yes. If you really believe, not just a company, not just a product, not just a brand, not just the future, not just the potential, but you believe in yourself. Don't you think it's even more powerful? Yes. Do you believe in yourself? Yes. Do you believe in yourself? Yes. 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 You answer me louder, do you believe in yourself? Yes. yes. Do you believe in yourself? Yes. yes. Every day keep condition our mind that I believe in myself. So it's very, very powerful. If you really believe in yourself, you can help other people. You can motivate other people. You can encourage other people. You see my point or not? So ladies and gentlemen, I'm so happy that all of you really pay attention to my presentation. Right. Now, uh, uh, Mark, is, Mark Ray is really a, I mean, a fantastic uh, leader. Uh, he is one of uh, the best uh, leaders in my organization. Uh, not just because he's a counter flower ambassador in uh, two countries. Now, the reason why I say he's really one of the very best is not just because of his success, uh, not just because of the uh, title that he earned, but because of his attitude as a person. He's a great, great leader. And I tell you, I always talk to a lot of people. <laughs> For those of you in his organization, uh, you, 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 I, I should say you are really fortunate to have a leader like him uh, who, are, who is so committed. You can never find another leader with that kind of success that come here every month without fail.
I'm sure every month he come here, he put up a lot of fantastic meetings, training for you, and I believe that you have learned a lot from him. But what I want you to really learn from him is his commitment. Okay? That's what makes him so successful. Because of his commitment. Do you know that when he was young, you know, he started his business at the, the, the beginning, he was just a student. He faced a lot of challenges, a lot of problems, he sponsored nobody. Every time he come to the meeting alone without any new downline. Many people do not want to attend meeting because they have no downline. But that is not what you call a uh, market. Whether he got downline or no downline, he will always be the first to come to the meeting. Copy him to really learn from him to have that kind of commitment, you know, uh, attend meeting every week. I think this is so 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 important. Believe me, if you have that kind of commitment, you come every week. Maybe you are slow. It's okay. I don't care how slow you are. As long as you keep walking, one day you're going to be a civil producer. One day you're going to be a. Doctor. One day you're going to be a. Doctor.